Changing your boot drive in Windows 11 sounds like a scary BIOS-level decision reserved for tech wizards. But it's not. It's mostly identifying where your OS lives and pointing your system in the right direction, like updating your GPS. Let's say you just installed Windows 11 on a new SSD because it's way faster. You don't want your PC booting off the old sluggish drive anymore. So now the goal is to make the new drive the priority, the main boot device. First, shut down your computer. Yep, like fully, not restart. You'll want to enter the BIOS or UEFI settings when the system powers back on. This is where most people panic, but I promise, this screen is more awkward than dangerous. When you turn your system back on, spam the correct key, usually delete, F2, or F10, depending on your motherboard. You'll know you're there when you see a very plain looking screen with lots of fan, storage, and security settings. Navigate with the arrow keys or mouse if your BIOS has a fancy interface. Find the boot tab. You're looking for boot priority or something very close to that. This is the list that tells your PC, try drive A first, then B. If your new drive isn't listed first, change that. Move it to the top of the boot order. Depending on your BIOS, you can use plus minus keys or drag and drop. The new SSD with Windows 11 should now be the main star of the show. Save changes with F10 or whatever your BIOS says is the exit and save key. Your machine will reboot. Cross your fingers. You should see Windows 11 load from the correct drive. Everything feels the same, but now it's running faster. You'll notice right away how much snappier it runs if you're dealing with an NVMe drive. Boot times from 1 minute to 15 seconds. Apps open before you finish typing the name. That's not minor. That's lifestyle upgrade stuff. Now, here's a pain point. If both drives have Windows installed, your PC might still ask which one to boot into. Annoying. You'll want to delete the old partition or remove that drive entirely if you're done with it. But if you need to keep both drives for storage, just make sure the old one doesn't confuse the bootloader. Use disk management in Windows to reformat the old OS partition and keep just the data. Less risk of a weird boot loop. Pro tip, rename your drives in Windows so you know which one is active. Call the new one main boot or something corny. It'll save you from clicking into the wrong one and wondering why everything still feels like 2014. This whole process is like deciding which door you walk through each morning. It's not scary, it's housekeeping. Do it right, and suddenly everything runs smoother, faster, like your machine finally realized it doesn't need coffee to boot.